And as I walk through the valley, the valley of death, my voice echoes out through the night. Lord, Lord, whatever your reason, don't be the reason why. Hello, YouTube. It's me again. I got the hiccups. Um, in a previous video, I did a video about boxes, storage bins, and one of the things, yeah, one of the things about your videos is don't walk away while you're recording them, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, nobody gives a shit, really, but yeah, I, um, I want to make boxes for all my junk, I can say, not necessarily small ones, one of the big ones, I, like I said in the last video, I want to buy a finger break, and I want to experiment making, we have a local store around here that you can make stuff and try to sell it, and I keep seeing these nice little, um, uh, like ornate little, I don't know, like boxes you can put stuff in, a little like, um, what's that word? Uh, fancy? Not not fancy, but they're like, um, they're like works of art. They're bent aluminum and they got little rivets. And I figure since I found this puppy, this rivet squeezer, really cheap, this thing. And I ordered some uh, squeezing dies for it off of an aircraft, um, what do you call it, supplier. Aircraft... Uh, tool supplier since apparently this is an aircraft grade rivet machine and I thought maybe if I get some I have a a bunch of weird pieces of aluminum that I've acquired and I'd like to maybe fold it up make a little box make things put a try to get some aluminum hinges or even make some hinges and just put some nice uh, you know I'll try to I mean for me it's a learning experience because then I got to draw it out figure out how I want to fold it fold a little lip on it and then make the little tabs, drill some holes, buy the right rivets, and then pop rivet thing in there. I only got so much space here I'm working with to do rivets, and I, I did buy a Thor rivet gun, so that I can also Thor the shit out of the ones I can't reach with a, about a bucking bar, too, so I can do that. It's just like I gotta get the bucking bar in, a sp in the space. But I just thought it'd be um, an interesting experience to make some nice little boxes. I wish I had a, you know... An 18 inch throat for this thing but i'm sure if i uh, you know welded something else on it probably could i also i think i can get a, some other um some other jaws for it i'm from what i can tell the this the guts of this thing come out and you could take the front off the back end is pretty much the same so yeah i um i just want to you know make some little boxes that don't suck because I'm like, I see people 3D printing stuff. I see people printing this and printing that. And I'm like, can I print in sheet? Can I print sheet metal? <laughs> That'd be great. Print out sheet metal and use it. But no, we can't do that yet. But yeah, so I have um, I have some rivets somewhere in here. I don't know where I put them. I have a rivet squeezer. I have an air compressor. I have all the tools to bend metal. And so one of my uh, things I, I as a project, not only just to clean up some of the nuts and bolts, but because I mean, some of these bolt bins are a hundred, two hundred dollars. Luckily, I bought a big giant bolt sorter over there, which I use as a my little parts bin. I paid fifty bucks for it. The guy told me like everybody and their mother want and called them up later and wanted to buy it. Luckily, I got these the little red bin. I don't know if you can see it right here. That's a little. This right here is a little part four drawer parts drawer. You pull it out, you flip the lid up, and there's like drawers in it. I there's two on the bottom over, where is it, back, there's one under here and one under here, and this one I, my, my brother gave me, it's from my father's old store, he didn't want it, so I chucked all the contents and refilled it with more screws, but these, these are nice, they're a hundred and, if you want to buy them on Amazon, they're over a hundred bucks, but it would be fun to like, because the drawers are made so simple, and then I could, with my spot welder, I could spot weld, and I, or I could rivet them in and just attach drawer rails to it, I also want to, reason why I want to do it is, on a welding table, I really don't want wooden drawers. And one of the cool things I've seen is when you put a drawer on a welding table, to put a, a drawer with holes in it so the dust and all the thing doesn't get in the drawer. So I want to make some metal drawers for my welding table. And I either spot weld it or rivet it. And I find riveting looks pretty cool. So, and there's a guy online, I can't remember his name. He's a, he, he has a YouTube channel and he makes some of the coolest, like, furniture. I think it's um, Form in Industries or something. He's an, he has an, uh, I think he's from Australia, 
and he, he does amazing work i keep writing messages on his facebook page <laughs> and i hope you don't see this but i keep writing messages i'm like when are you going to start making something ugly because it's for everything he makes is all it's like it has re it's really cool it's like he, like i've never seen somebody make a chair and like you're like holy shit that is a you know it's like a piece of art so anyway i'll just shut the hell up now and turn this off and you all can go back to making popcorn or have some steaks because i'm pretty sure some of you are from a warmer climate than this enjoy <laughs>